um, one of my baby mamas, she uh, had a nerve act like she talking to a, a, a drug dealer. You hear me? And then I learned when, when my kids involved, it ain't no limits to it. And so a drug dealer around my kids, I woke up the other morning and called the feds, the, 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 federal, the federal detective that gave him his name, and called CPS on that hoe. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You, why? Let me ask you this. Why do you feel like, why do you think people be saying you like, you the controversial guy? Like, they feel like you keep the city, uh, bring the city in, the, like, oh, he be keeping everybody into it. What I, is that about? No, I just speak the real. I say what the, I say what the next person You mean say. you're real? No, it just be real, period. So you know, everybody have their own perspective on stuff. Man, I've been around for a long time, so I know the real. So I, what's the difference between your perspective and the real? What's uh, the difference? Uh, Sometimes people's perspective is only, they only have their own perspective for um, their own achievement and, and their own goals. So put it like this. So sometimes some people real, you could switch it up to be the best fit for your life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you tell me when you say the real, it's just not like anything that's gonna be beneficial to you. No, just like this. Um, sometimes the people that I love, it's like the girls I love, my baby mamas. I'm a narcissist, and my real is best fits for me. Mm-hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's like. You know, some people real that like people just sit down and ask the bloggers why they not playing their shit, or why they not uh, getting no views no more, or if the bloggers pick size or anything like that. You're only you're only coming from your real perspective to help your career. Well, I do okay. <laughs> I, I, I and that's what you me, do, huh? And that's what no, you, no, 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 no. That's not what you. Cause so it, you don't help your own career no, when you talking your real. This is in my personal life. That's what you do in your personal, personal life, yeah, but yeah. on your in music life, I already, I'm already successful. I'm good, good from down in my life. So, this the real. So you already where you want to be in your yeah, career, man. I've got. You don't need to go no high. I, I don't need. I don't want to. I got a house with kids. I got. I got toddlers running around there. In the next five years, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna have three boys on the same football team, and a little girl's the cheerleader. Man, it's a beautiful life. I got a twelve year, I got twelve year old the girl, little girl right now that live with me. And mama let me live with me. My uh, my oldest daughter, and, and she was a starting point guard at her school. Give a damn about this music shit. Do you go to all her games? Every game. If I'm out of town, I, the only time I missed the game was, was the Grammys weekend. Mm -hmm. I missed the game, and I sit there and Facetime. I sit there and Facetime my mama the whole time, watch the game in my hotel room. Yeah, that's exciting to me. So people be like, man. You ain't, I don't want to break no other artists where I got to do that shit all over again. But all these kids that you have is different baby mamas. I got I got three different baby mamas. How you deal with that? Man, it's getting harder, though. Because I got to watch. Are you still with all these three different baby mamas? Nah, really, I'm only really oh, with one. One I'm really close to. Only one? Yeah. You're, so you're in a relationship with that one? Yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah. But the other ones, you just I mean, co-parenting? Yeah, yeah. And they don't want you back? Nah, yeah, nah, they know my ways. I can't change my ways, Bumpy Johnson. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I can't change my ways, <laughs> Bumpy Johnson. Listen, I, listen, and listen, I, and I learned through this situation because I never had to deal with that. Because my first baby mama, she uh, she, she knew Brandy. Mm -hmm. She knew Brandy without everything. You know what I'm saying? And so, but then uh, they're like one of my baby mamas. She. She, Why would you leave that one though? The one we were never together though. But that was the best thing though. She wasn't never together. But uh, uh, um, one of my baby mom, she uh had a nerve act like she talking to a, a a drug dealer. You hear me? And then I learned when, when my kids involved, it ain't no limits to it. And so a drug dealer around my kids. I woke up the other morning and called the feds, the the, the federal the federal detective that gave him his name, and called CPS on that hoe. Mm mm. What? But you can't prove that she endangered a child. If I ran a drug dealer, what, 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 what if he don't want? Did to you have proof yeah. to get off of them that he's a drug dealer? Yeah. What, what, what if he went to California and switched out a pack and and, and have some California niggas looking for him? And they see my my baby or my kids and shoot the house up. 
Nah, I don't play them games. Listen, I'm letting y'all niggas know right now. You, man, if you obey my mama, you better go get your lawyer, football player, an athlete, uh, uh, I don't, a dentist, a uh, 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 workout nigga, and, and, and they work niggas out or something like that. But you ain't finna have no drug dealers around my kids. Then we gotta drop the. Some of these fathers gotta. Some of these fathers gotta keep these women, uh, uh, up to par. And they gotta keep them accountable of what they doing. See, some of these daddies, some of these daddies be so caught up in their own life, they forget what's happening at the kids' houses. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's how a person, a person growing up, a person have took advantage of these little girls because their daddy wasn't present. They know what was going on in their houses. Mm -hmm. And that's not gonna be me. Let me ask you this, man. And this kind of got something to do with what you're saying now. When you co-parenting and yeah. you're going through stuff, man. Right now, P Diddy, uh, they got him, but his. Uh, you know, uh, he's been hanging out with 50 Cent's old lady, so it's uh -huh. a lot going on where 50 is now saying she's an unfit mama because she, you know, got caught in some sex stuff with P. Diddy. Yeah, that's, that's You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, he's upset with Diddy about that and her, and he wants custody of his son. Do you think he should get custody? Yeah. Man, that girl up at, But that ain't no drug dealer. Man, that's out there partying and, and doing, being around drugs and all kind of shit. Yes. No, man, we got, you got to break the, bro, you see the generation of these new kids? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The generation we came up, they was doing the Tussie Roll, and it was good. You know what I'm saying? You can watch, you you can watch Soul Train. You know what I'm saying on Saturday night? Watch Apollo Saturday. But what's going on right now? Now you got to protect these kids at all costs. Cause that's why these young boys running around here for 13, 14 year old switches and and doing this, doing that. Nah, man, I'm gonna stand for some. So some people get mad. At, some people get mad at me for what I got going on. How I stand? I'm all around. I stand for everything. My wow. mind clear now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.